Asian Pacific American Heritage Month is a very important milestone, a very important time for the Asian and Pacific Islander community. The United States recognizes the contributions, the history, and the value of the fastest growing community in the United States. It also recognizes the diversity of the Asian American and the Pacific Islander community. Um, here in New York City alone, over 40 ethnic groups from, who are identified as Asian American or Pacific Islander. So it's a great time for us to reflect on what this community has contributed to the United States and to New York. It's a great opportunity to bring people together to learn more about the history of our community and to recognize the contributions that Asian American leaders as well as Asian American organizations have done in their sectors. Um, at the same time, it's an opportunity for us to recognize and have honest dialogue about what more needs to happen. And I think that's what's important right now during this time in the United States, as well as this time in New York. It was very, very eye-opening to see what the statistics were in terms of the percentage of executives across the board who are of Asian American descent compared to um, the general uh, corporate population, and especially of women. Uh, Asian women who are in the in the workplace and so it's definitely given me a very heightened sense of what the community as a whole is facing. I think it's really true that for large swaths of society you cannot be what you cannot see. If you haven't seen you know, perseverance and success and for me it would be seeing women or seeing Asian women be successful in the workplace, I love having those role models and hearing those stories and when I see that per perseverance and determination that leads to success in those women, it's hugely inspiring for me to keep on fighting and achieving and knowing that it's going to lead somewhere because there are those examples. It's important to recognize that there are a lot of different Asian Americans in America. I think it's not only for ourselves, but for the rest of America to understand that uh, Asian Americans and Asian American Pacific Islanders is a very large group. I love my experience as an Asian, and I love my experience as an American. And I am both of those. I'm an American, but I'm also Indian. We at CPC, while wow, for 52 years and we were founded as an Asian American nonprofit, of our 60,000 participants every year, over one third come from different communities. And we respectfully serve individuals from Latino populations, from African American and black populations, from Jewish communities and Russian communities. And we're able to do that because we're respectful of others. And I think that's what's important during Asian American Heritage Month is recognizing that it's not just about the Asian American community, but it's that the Asian American community can build bridges, not only across our different ethnic groups, but we can build bridges with other racial groups uh, and with other populations in the United States and in New York. To be Asian in the United States is to not really know that you're Asian until um, you encounter these microaggressions that um, you experience as a minority in this country. When I was growing up, I was in a very non-Asian school, and so I would often get bullied and teased uh, for being different. So people would say things like ching chong or you know, make fun of the food that I would bring to lunch. We are part of the fabric of the community and that we're here to uh, work with everyone. I welcome any way to be able to participate in this community and to help um, sort of rally a cause to, to make this a little more visible and to help in however way I can to hopefully move the statistics in a completely different direction. So, you know, having a month that celebrates this is, is quite poignant to me. The barriers that we face are just as significant as other racial groups, but we don't talk about them. And we don't talk about them maybe because of culture, because, because of shame, or because that we are expected to be the model minority. Asian Pacific Heritage Month is a month for us to reconnect with our shared history. As much as we would like to you know, run away from certain things that are part of our identity, we can't. 
if you look Asian, if people think you look Asian, then you're Asian. And you can't run away from that. So why not just cherish the, the shared history that we all have and come together and connect as a community? Because that's how we move forward and how we create progress for all of us.